Hello YouTube, it's me again, and um, I'm gonna do a series of videos for this weekend. First one is uh, giving advice on checking out stoves. Recently, uh, I was uh, I came home and talked to my girlfriend, and then um, we decided that we wanted to make some soup. So I said, "Yeah, I'm gonna make some soup." So I put on you know the pot with water on the stove and um, turn it on and then I went to the internet and then I did some reading and after that I was checking some downloads out and um, I was updating files and I was talking and um, just the water didn't boil so I um, checked my uh, cell phone and then uh, I petted my cat and then um, I went to the bathroom and then I read some news and then um, water didn't boil and then I um, think I uh, had some uh, nuts and then I um, shuffled my books and then I read some interesting stories and then um, I went to check on and the water didn't boil so I um, kind of checked out well is this the right you know place on a stove and checked you know the first one no the second one the third one and then I got this I got second degree burns on my hand um, screamed, yelled, after that, when you get second degree burns, you have to put it under cold running water, not freezing water, cold water, after that, and it hurt like hell, it really did, it redefined my ability to swear, uh, and cuss, and, um, it really, really hurt. And after that, after, you know, 20 minutes or maybe an hour uh, in, you know, holding fingers in the cold water, um, I put some clean cloth over it and um, some uh, pack of frozen stuff so it will, the swelling would go down, so swelling didn't go down. And I reacted in a very guy way, uh, saying that, um, no, it's gonna pass. It's gonna pass. I'm gonna heal all by myself. Well, and then the voice of reason, my girlfriend said, no, no, oh, oh, oh no, we're going to the ER. And the lady at the ER said, well, yeah, this is a kind of a second degree burn and um, you just need to wait for the swelling to come down. Then we're gonna pierce uh, the bubbles that are forming on your fingers and then we're gonna clean it and then after we're gonna remove the dead skin and in a few weeks is going to be better. <clears throat> so, uh, advice number one, never do this. When you're checking the stove, do this. No upsy downsy, go roundsy roundsy. Yeah, okay, just, you know, go over the stove to see if it's hot. Don't be an idiot. I was an idiot and look at me. <clears throat> Second of all, I think the Zen masters would agree. It all happened because I was not in the moment. And if you're doing something, focus on that something. I'm not very good at multitasking, and I overestimated my, you know, possibilities, and that's what happened. Because, you know, I was reading computer and books and talking and cat and... <sighs> yeah, so don't be a fool. Focus on what you're doing. Pay attention to details. As uh, Brandon Lee said, nothing is trivial so pay attention or get burned <laughs>